Hello and welcome to the next episode of RimWorld with me, Winslayer. It's been a day since I, I played this game. Um, and I've actually got somebody in chat from uh, somebody else's stream, Horath Drac, was streaming some RimWorld today and I, I like to check in with him every once in a while see what he's playing. He was kind enough to let me play some Stellaris with him a couple weeks ago and I, I really enjoy his community so I'm uh, happy to have some people from over there here to just hang out and help me hopefully not die because I am I'm nervous about this playthrough. I'm not very good at the game but I have some decent characters here. Some good fighters, some good guns, good setup I think. I like Cat, he was a slave. We bought him. Same with Angus. Ooh. Ooh, perfect time for you guys to come and hang out. We got a siege, which means I need to rally out and get them, don't I? Um, this person's pretty terrible at shooting, but they just became part of our colony. Like, we literally just recruited them um, to do some research and stuff. So hopefully that goes well. Hey, Silas. Good to see you, dude. I got some go-go juice I could use. I think I got like four four things of go-go juice. What do these guys got? Some silver there. Black pants. This person's loaded up with gear, but their their stuff is pretty terrible. They got like no range on them, so while they're sieging me I could outrange them with what's her face here. The problem is, is that since it's nighttime, we're gonna have really bad shots, aren't we? <laughs> we do have the smoke leaf, Silas. I don't think doing that right now would be beneficial to the siege. But I'm thinking maybe wait until it's daytime to rally out, or maybe rally out so we can take shots from down here onto them when it's daytime. Not sure. What do you guys think? Should I go out now? Get up early? I mean, if I get up early, then they're not going to have food in them when they're fighting, which would be kind of a bummer. Two of them are already awake and ready to fight. I think I'm going to I'm going to send my people out so we don't get bombed. Once they get closer, I'll, I'll tell them where to go. Okay, Loon. You can go there for now. Pots will stay back here because they're our melee. They're already trying to engage somewhere. I'd like her actually to go where Cats was. Cats can go here. Don't know where to put her, but I guess somewhere like there will do for now. Can she shoot anyone from there? Not quite. She needs to move up a little bit. Ugh, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like if we're gonna move up we need to move more people up. She's going to get some shots in from there. Nice, Did he, she totally shot her. If you can shoot other ones, that'll be awesome. Are they bombing us yet?
I need to get some more people into range if I can. I feel like Mini can't really get into range very easily. Good. Mini, run back, please. armor just did a little deflection. That was pretty awesome. Whew. You had a biome where you uh, once tamed a bunch of elephants. Siege pirate. <laughs> nice. Release the hounds of, of the elephants. That makes sense. Alright. Jono, we need you in the fight here. Same with what's her face. Step forward please. Minnie's taking an injury, but I think she can take a little bit more right now. We can just knock some of them. Yeah, there we go. We're going to run away now. Minnie! Stop being crazy. Alright, so Matthew isn't dead. There's somebody running in front of us soon. Who is Matthew? Is Matthew any good? They're got creepy breathing, but they're kind and they're beautiful. So those things might actually balance themselves out nicely. A right leg scratch scar is their worst injury, so I might actually take Matthew. I'm not too sure. Please don't shoot many. Shoot this one if you're going to shoot. Alright, well that person just died. And that person just died. Okay. So we're a bunch of murderers. Rip eye. Did somebody's eye get poked out or something? Or somebody called eye. Well, they're not dead yet. They're just uh, an industrious transhumanist psychopath. Not really that interested. And they got a stab scar on their torso which can't be replaced. So we'll probably strip them. They got some good stuff to take off their dead body. Got some stuff we can take off of them. Devil Strand Jacket might be actually worth holding on to. Steel Helmet, mm, maybe. Definitely with that silver. I might just let these guys rot out here. I'm not too sure. Oh, nice. Thanks for the bits, Lord Scrod. That's that's awesome. Much appreciated. You're in a generous mood, it seems like. You were donating over on Horace channel, too, I noticed. That's that's really nice of you. You're like, I think, the um, third or four, fourth person to send me a cheer. And... Um, yeah, it's it's awesome. I'm really glad to see that stuff is starting to pick up because it's happened pretty recently. I've been getting stuff like that. Hmm. 
I think we're going to take this creepy breather in. Everybody's going to hate him because he's creepy, but he's also beautiful and kind, so they're, they'll like him about as much as they hate him. I kind of want to have him not bleed out. Hmm, who's got good movement speed out of all my people? Probably somebody without any injuries on their legs. Pots, you rescue him. Go we'll capture him. And bring him to our hospital. Oh, there's an order to unforbid, isn't there, huh? Um, I don't think I want to bring their corpses back with me. I think I might leave their corpses rotting out here. I just wanted to unforbid the, the specific stuff that they had um, that I wanted. I could have, though. Definitely want to strip them, so if they could... Yeah, nice. They'll go do that now. Let's go capture him. You go capture him, actually. Because you apparently were just walking back by yourself. Everybody's all hungry and tired now because of the raid. The siege. Definitely want to take this stuff. I don't know if I have a place for all the... um. We'll claim all that stuff, right? What's the order? Claim. And then also deconstruct, because that's free steel. Kind of like it if she did that stuff. Also, we should claim this and reinstall it, right? Must have somebody else on construction. Pots and her. Minnie can do a little bit. I'd like Minnie to go rest. A lot of them are just going to go rest. Can you do hauling, please? Prioritize hauling. Ooh, nice. A little psychic sooth. I remember having issues with food recently, so bringing Matthew into the colony is definitely going to take its toll on us. You're praying. And, oh, we have a boomaloop. I forgot about the boomaloop. Um, let's keep him inside of area 2. I don't want the boomaloop... Uh, let's keep him inside of home. I don't want the boomaloop going and blowing up, and you can milk him, which I, I totally forgot you could do. Poor swear. Do I not have anywhere I can store this stuff? I must have a place for apparel. I thought this was my place for apparel. Maybe it's because it's flax stuff? Not sure, but I'm just gonna go through and allow all of that, I guess, because I really want the flax stuff. Oh, maybe that person just like was incapable of hauling. I don't know, Angus. Oh, you're only allowed in home. I understand now. That makes sense. Um, we probably didn't need to allow all this stuff in there, because I was keeping a peril up here, wasn't I? I can't avoid it. I want to keep the nice stuff, and only the nice stuff in there. So he's moving. Just have him do a little bit of hauling here. Get that stuff in our, our territory. I don't remember stripping them, but okay. We will 
reduce resistance on him. Oh, Silas, you gotta go? Well, I'll see you later, dude. And it looks like a Dragomira, or Dagmar, is here. Hey, Dagmar. I'm glad you could join me for a little bit of RimWorld here. I'm planning to play for a couple hours today. I know you got stuff later, but yeah. Why are you so low? Observed a rotting corpse. Ah, it's the corpses. Got it. Um... Let's not do that then. So, where is all of our power going? Apparently not here. Is this thing, yeah, it's toggled on. Let's, uh, let's toggle the crematory off. Because it probably is... This only needs 250 actually. Why is this all off? I'm confused. Does it not need to be on? Is it too warm in there? Oh, yeah, it's too warm in there. This isn't on. Alright, so we need to toggle that on. Got it. Right? This thing has not got electricity. It's got power here. What's going on there? I'm confused. Hmm. It's just getting really warm in here. There we go. Oh, it's the solar flare. Okay. I, I should have been able to figure that out. It just came up, didn't it? Welp. That stuff happens sometimes. Colonists left unburied? Who was who our colonist that died? I'm confused. Oh, it was oh, one of these guys, Sefa, our negotiator. We need to burn him. All these corpses, I see. Can you get to burning? This one is, got it, good. <laughs> we can probably leave some of them in the ground for now. Cancel. clearing out the ground and it's making some people a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. So when that person joins our crew, are they going to have a bed? I'm setting up a bedroom over here. Can't build another one. How much wood we got? Not a lot? Let's set up some marble stuff then. Marble furniture. Marble dresser, please. For the rich people. Only the best. Also, they're gonna need a uh, end table, right? Let's make it out of marble. And maybe some artwork. I probably need some more artwork. burn some of the steel things down when uh, we're done with the crematory. Are you guys taking care of Sefa yet? I think we have. Burning him alive, how does that make people feel? Did they get over their things? Observed rotting corpses, slept in heat. Where do you sleep, Angus? Sleep here, in the heat. Yes. So uh, I guess we could probably keep this like a little bit cooler. 
you want to get that down to that. Hey, pirates! What's up, pirates? You got anything good for us? Also, did we haul the good stuff? No, we didn't. Um, you're just hauling simple meal. Go haul this. You're meditating pretty low on stuff. You're making smoke leaf, which is pretty important. You're cremating. You're making a small sculpture. You're hauling milk. Haul this, please. All that we gotta haul some stuff it's kind of important so we should trade with these guys right I think she's my main trader she's got some pretty good social she's resting now who else is good social Seven. Not really anyone. I want to catch these guys before they go. Can you wake up, please? Go trade with them. Alright. So I have one female Boomaloop. I could get a male one. Are these guys herbivores? How do they work? Sci so they like seeds, life plants, meals, processed foods, kibbles, vegetables. They'll eat anything just like our our other things. We could spend 400 on that. Or we can try and sell Matthew. <laughs> we can be a slaver. <laughs> oh, pirates. That's tempting. It's, it really is. It's very tempting. I think instead we'll sell some of our artwork and go for do we want the boomalope? not really I could probably tame one if I really wanted one let's just trade with this guy get a little bit more silver in our in our inventory how's this person on a uh, resistance 16 getting better. I think we need to use some of this cloth on things like armchairs. We'll do that. And we'll reinstall this one. So it's like this. <laughs> yeah, slaver runs sound kind of fun. Being evil. It's uh it's profitable. Not everybody's willing to do it, right? So you make some good cash off of it. I didn't claim this and I should have probably. Do I have anywhere for the shells? I need to I need to keep the shells somewhere. I'll keep the shells I guess in here. Um where do we go to sh deal with shells? It's uh manufactured? Yeah, there we go. We'll just put all of them there. I uh, I haven't played too much Room World to be honest. I've I played around with Cannibals in one of my first playthroughs, and then I played around with um, just being like good people, like not not super evil. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I had a lot more fun being a Cannibal, doing weird stuff. I was thinking about doing like a, a drug heavy <laughs> playthrough, but you know, 
that might not go over well on YouTube or who knows, Twitch. Why are they so low on their needs? Food poisoning, intense pain, ravenously hungry. Um, so they're awake at 13 hours and they definitely shouldn't be according to their schedule. Why are you awake at 13 hours? Got you on sleep, right? Angus, you should be asleep right now. You're ravenously hungry. That's why. You're, you're eating because you're ravenously hungry. So your entire schedule has been thrown off basically because of... Um, what's it called? That raid. Little night owls like just starved and got food poisoning too. I probably could make this better by separating this out a little bit. install that there. I think I will make this a little separate area and just make it sterile uh, floors because I think that does help. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that people wouldn't like people who put people in chains? Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like how things are. Oh, I forgot to uh, forbid these. Whoops. We totally brought a bunch in and then didn't forbid them, did we? It's like free uh, thingies. We did pretty good in that raid. I'm pretty happy with how we, we handled ourselves. Where's our boom elope, by the way? I want you to go to home. We can forbid that, that's far enough away, it's pretty safe. What should I be focusing on now? Observed a rotting corpse. That should deconstruct, not not open. Go to orders, deconstruct. You don't need no grace. We're gonna cremate these things. These fools. How much steel we got? Three hundred. Uh oh, disease. <gasps> They've got the flu. Matthew, I think I'm moving you to a different room. This is now Matthew's room. This is now a medical room. She should be okay, right? Which bit did I put her in? The excellent one. Okay, good. That's the excellent one. Infection chance multiplier 32. Somewhat impressive. I hope that's a good enough hospital for her. If anybody in chat knows how to like better take care of somebody, I'm open to suggestions here.
Oh, we're out of our meals somehow. How did we go through our meals so quickly? Uh oh, this isn't good. Last time this happened, we, uh, we had some issues. Need to go hunting, I think. I think we'll cut like just what we can get away with from those and maybe go hunting. There's some rats out there. Turkey. Turkeys don't seek revenge apparently. Maybe we'll get some turkeys. So there's two survival meals out here I was unaware of. So a uh, end table actually would help in the hospital? I didn't know that. That's news to me. Stop. I guess that'll work for food. I'd rather we get the cutting here. There, they're cooking with food, good. Making some food. Which we definitely need. Where are we taking the food, by the way? Because I thought they were going to take it here. We out of wood for reasons. I think we're out of wood, too. Because of the volcanic winter. Wonderful. Thank you, volcanic winter, for reducing my crops and everything. <laughs> it's great. Hmm. Comfort does actually help. She seems to be getting better with this stuff. Her immunity is building more than her, her flu. I wish somebody would clean that, that mess up. Looks like they can actually make food again. Good. And they're just dropping it there. That's where he's putting the food. Nowhere. And they're taking it over here. Good. Okay, that's where I wanted them to do it. And that's pretty central. Like, people can get there pretty quickly from here and here and here. The flu isn't too dangerous unless untreated. That's good. It's probably good to keep her just in bed, right? She doesn't... Like, I don't know. She doesn't... Um... Jeez. I need more trees. Where are all the trees? They're far away. Alright, I'm actually going to try and chop down a couple trees that are in front of us in the hopes that if there is a raid we can get back pretty quickly, relatively quickly. It's a hope. We'll see what happens, right? What's this? Research. Research screen, please. Just let me get Yeo. Yeo would allow me to make go go juice, which is something I want. But I also would just like maybe better medicine or be able to get to those bionic things eventually. I like Korath, I really wanted to um to play around with this stuff. Maybe we'll get machining. 
I heard flak armor isn't very good, so hmm, I don't know. Is my phone not charging? I thought I set it up so it was charging. Looks like it no. What do you recommend on the research? There we go, it's charging now. For now I think I'll go with Yeo so I can produce my own go-go juice if I, if I need to. But what do these guys produce when you, uh, when you milk them? They produce something like, right? uh, Biofuel, right? Oh, this broke down. That's sad. Disturbed sleep, slept on the ground, because I don't have a room for them. Don't know. At least you're kind and you're sanguine. You can sleep on the ground then, whatever. <laughs> I'm not worried. Chem fuel. Gasoline, basically. So I should probably set up like a chem fuel stockpile, right? Thought it was something like that. And what do you think? Should I actually try and tame a boomalope eventually? Cargo pods. Hey, some free smoke leaf joints. Perfect. We'll take it. Do we have any wood stockpiled yet? Is, that our, is there only two wood stockpiled? It's disturbed sleep to eight without table. Eight without table. Pain, hey, without table. Somewhat impressive rec room. Okay. She's getting, she's getting better. That's nice. in 18 days. Nice. Matthew's resistance has been broken. Um, recruit. Also, do we have another bed? We'd have to build it. So you guys seem to understand a lot about RimWorld. Does cutting down trees reduce the rate in which new ones come around? Whoa, no way. That, that was easy. Nice. We just got Matthew. I wonder if I should have taken all this gear off of him. And how do people... People like him overall, even though he's got a creepy breathing. <laughs> he's beautiful enough and kind. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad. You're not a, a great con contributor, contributor, but uh, let's see. You were born to two medics. You longed for power. <laughs> and deciding the best way to gain power was to climb the ranks of the Imperial Military. Okay, you joined at the early earliest possible age. Quickly rose through the military ranks and soon attained the rank of general. Nice. General... Poe. I think that's what we're going to call this episode. Because that's a that's a good name and a good backstory. He's kind, beautiful, but he's got creepy breathing. Also, machine pistol? Let's 
got armor. You can get nice and close with the machine pistol, right? Oh, they're incapable of the little things. It's kind of a bummer. But they're okay at social, which is nice. And doctoring. They can doctor if we need to, somebody to doctor. Do they like doctoring? No. So that's not make them doctor unless they have to. You're cleaning up your patient. That's good. They're no longer your patient. They just spawn fewer. They spawn everywhere. If it's aired, you get fewer. Okay, I get it. So I can cut them down wherever and they'll just spawn around here, huh? If it's ready to harvest, then I think I'll just go for it. Because we're in a volcanic winter, and things still seem to be growing, which is pretty cool. This biome isn't that terrible, even in a volcanic winter. It's able to produce, I think, trees and food and things of that nature. Which, to be honest, I wouldn't expect. That's, that's pretty good, right? So what do we have on these people? We have parkas, pants, t-shirts, things of that nature. I kind of wanted to change their outfits, but I'm not sure what to. I might get coca. Some chocolate. That'll boost everybody's happiness. Ah, uh, that's where they were putting the chem fuel. Let's get the chem fuel out of here. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure that everybody's on the right medical stuff. Yep. We well, got malnutrition. We got no food. We got no food. How did we let that happen? All right. Time to harvest some rice. Pots. You got to get up early here. I know you probably barely rested. But you got a job here. No. Cook. I really like it if you didn't consume raw rice, but if that's really what you gotta do. No. Cook. You're cooking. Okay, you can cook. Get to it, Angus. You're a nighttime dude. We need you cooking here. <sighs> need to go find an animal to kill, I think. There's some squirrels. Go kill the squirrels and the, air, the hares. You need to do that. Also, there's a female boom rat. Should we tame that? No, it would cost us food. We don't have food to spare. Here are these we can harvest off of. We should harvest them. Is she healed then? Yeah, she's healed! Woohoo! Got a couple idle colonists, it looks like. Who do we have on grow? We got a couple people on grow. We don't need you on grow anymore. It's only have people that are okay at it do growing stuff. 
Ooh, Ponce is our main person for that, it looks like. I can select a whole bunch, but isn't it best to wait until they're like fully grown? Especially when you're in like a, a really, really bad spot. Like, volcanic winter I think means plants grow slower. Alright, red maces, they're going to prepare for a while. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Alright, wooden mace, they, they got like really really bad weapons. They're coming in mass with all melee. Are you kidding me? All melee? Not a single gun? Oh, that person's interesting. I wonder if I can capture any of these guys. Got two smart cannibal- oh 77, never mind. This is a pretty cool cannibal though. Got bad back. If I was like later in the game, I'd put them on Luciferium and take them in the colony, right? Beautiful, tough, psychopath with 18 shooting and 16 melee. Alright, Tomimi Ford, we gotta be worried about, I think. Definitely worried about that one person. They're gonna prepare for a while. Got to undo this. this is now somebody's bed. Matthew, you get that. I'm also gonna build cells a bed there. This should not be all cotton. We don't need this much to be cotton. What we need is berries. Bad. This can be berries. They'll drop some food, which is nice when they die. They're gonna prepare for a while, and that gives me time. Yeah, it should be a slaughter. I feel like equipping the the guns that fire quicker and, and taking her off her range one, even though like I've had her on a range thing forever. Should I take some of these guys off of revolvers? Revolvers are pretty quick firing, right? A heavy SMG or a machine pistol might be better though than a revolver. I feel like it might be. What is their inspiration? How can I see that? Got something on them. Hmm. Oh, shooting frenzy. Yeah, I should probably give them a gun that shoots fast. I think I'll take Cat off of his thing. Of his pistol. I 
just want her to get some good shots in here, so I'll go with her there. This lady can go here. Everybody except for Pots is in position. I'll bring Pots over here too. Hmm. ones in front. Should probably clear out these trees at 1.2. Watch them walk over the traps. One. This guy's gonna walk over a second one. Good. Oh boy. Do I want to retreat him or just keep him here so he soaks a couple of them? He's got good gear for it. I think I'll step him back a bit, a bit. Hold the door open, Matthew. You can you can step back. Now shoot. Nice. You got a little bruise. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Edward and e Emmy, are you going to get away? You're kind of slow. You're not injured. I could have Matthew go here. He's just got a little bruise. Nice. Thanks for the, cha the uh, cheer, dude. I appreciate that. Easy victory. I agree. That was pretty darn easy. I think I'll let the others go back to their stuff. Stevens, who are you? You're tough, greedy, and industrious. I don't know. I might take him. I just might take him. Going to burn that dude right away. I wonder if they can catch up to Emmy. I wonder if it's worth it. I should have looked at his bio and yeah, he was one of the good ones. Old gunshot wound though, yeah, he wouldn't have been worth keeping. Hey, they got five smoke leaf joints on them? I don't think we can run them down though. It'd be cool if we could. We could get close to getting them, but I don't think we'd actually get them. Alright, so all those people are dead now. That's cool. I feel like we need to melt down their weapons for steel. Let's 
dismount weapons. Awful to poor. It's low. Awful to poor, yeah. I guess so. Steel Gladys. I feel like those are actually worth something, aren't they? 50. Not too sure. If we smelt all that down, we'll get some extra steel. Where are we keeping the steel? Do we have a steel stockpile yet? We should probably just keep it out here. What's it called? Steel. You go there. If I click on steel, does it take me to my steel stockpiles? Ah, oh, that's where I'm keeping my steel right now. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's bring it over here. I think this is a decent spot to keep the steel at. suspend that for a minute. This is for basically revolvers I think and this one is for melee. Anything that's awful and like rotting I guess I decided to put there. This needs treatment. I guess so. We're low on food still though. Let's harvest some berries just to get those going early. Oh, he's still on We need you to do this really quickly. Sorry I kept you there, just doing nothing. Yeah, dude, every little bit helps, totally. I agree. as well. We'll reduce his resistance. Oh, prisoner man, you have a nice little bio. Space pirate. Industrial orphan. I think our rooms are pr overall pretty nice, so you'll fit in. You'll like it here. Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> They're facing the wrong way, both of them. That's the way your furniture should face. Also, let's give them some artwork. Double click on the berry bushes. That's a smart idea. You seem to play, um, or seem to know a lot about Rimworld. Do you play it a lot? Lord. Uh, Lord Scrod? There's a bunch. 
Yeah, let's just harvest off of this so we have some food saved up for a little while to make ourselves not starve. To make sure we don't starve. So that was my alarm for the hour. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. I will see you around for the next one.